I'm Dave Gray. I'm an artist and an entrepreneur. I've been uh, I started my company in 1993, and I've been uh, operating that company almost continuously for more than 20 years. I, uh, I'll tell you a story about design thinking. I was uh, I was privileged to be invited to speak to a group of about 30 CIOs, chief information officers of global corporations. And I was talking to them about my company, explaining the work that we do with our clients and how we help them uh, communicate complex ideas and so forth. And one of the CIOs raised his hand and I said, yes. And he said, is this like design thinking? And I said, yeah. Yeah, it is design thinking. And I gave him my description of what I think design thinking is, which is, in my view, design thinking is a way for uh, groups of people who are not, don't think of themselves as designers to take the activities that designers do, the activities that they do to make and design and create things, and sh create a shared uh, kind of uh, brain where they can do those activities. They can act and think like designers as a group, and they can create things. And I said, does that jive with, with your definition? And he said, he, looked his, he didn't look at me, he looked around, he looked at his peers, and he said, design thinking is something that comes out of Stanford, and if you want design thinking, you go to IDEO, which is a company that, does, that owns this phrase in the minds of senior executives in the world, and I thought, and basically his message to his peers was, don't listen to this poser. If you really want to learn about design thinking, this is not the guy to be talking to or listening to because it comes from IDEO and Stanford. Is he from IDEO? Is he from Stanford? No. Um, so that was when I stopped using the word design thinking, honestly. They have so many things that they're trying to process that they use very simple labels and they attach them to things in their brain. And if you are trying to get them to see something new, don't use a label that they already think they know. You need a new label. That's why my new book is called Liminal Thinking, um, because I, I, could, I couldn't call it something. I, I needed a label that, that CIO, I had that CIO in mind as my audience, and I had to have a label that he would, have, he would look at and say, oh, I haven't heard of, I don't think I've heard of that. Hi, my name is Dave. I'm an artist and an entrepreneur. 